You ready for today's quote, Jace? Oh, yeah. Doth mother know thou wearest her drapes? <laughs> Come on, that's like the best line in the Avengers. Don't you agree? Classic. Okay. Okay, in today's blog video tip, what I want to talk about is analyzing comps. Comps are comparables. So whenever we're trying to determine what the value is of a property, we want to look at comps, right? The best way to predict what future value is is to look at past uh, sales or past comps. So whether it's a fix and flip or we're doing a lot deal or new construction, really whatever it is, what we want to do is we want to determine what will be the value of this property when I make improvements or whatever it is I'm going to do to the deal, what will be the value of that property? So what we do is we look at sold comps. Now, there are really three things that you want to look at and make sure you've got right. And these are them, features, proximity, and date. Let me talk about these three, features. So if we're going to be looking at what's the value of this deal I've got, let's call it the subject property, and we look at a comp, we want to make sure that any comps we look at are similar in features. Now, what do I mean by features? I mean square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, foundation, lot size, that sort of thing. So for example, if we're looking at a thousand square foot ranch as our subject property, we wouldn't compare that with a 2000 square foot colonial, right? They're totally different, not, not related, not closely related enough anyway. So we want to stick with similar. We don't compare four bedrooms with two bedrooms. They're different right? So we want to make sure that we're similar. Now, you're never going to get everything perfectly with houses because all houses are different, but you want to get as close as possible. The closer in features, so if you look at a comp and it's identical, so same bedrooms, same square footage, you know, um, it's got a basement, as much of it as you can, a half acre lot. If that's identical, the closer it is to your subject property, the better it is as a comp. Now, the next thing is proximity. Proximity, I mean, how close is it to your subject deal? The closer, the better. So a house that's next door, right, as a comp, it's sold, it's next door, that's a better comp than a house that's sold a mile away or two miles away or whatever. The closer, the better. Ideally, we wanna stay in the same subdivision or the same development, or we wanna be within half a mile, you know, maybe go out a mile, but really, you want to stay as close to your subject property as possible. The closer, the more relevant. That's what we're looking at here. And, this, and the third one is the date, meaning the date it closed. So the more recent it closed, the more relevant, the better the comp. So if it sold yesterday, that is the best comp instead of 12 months ago, nine months ago. So what we look for is we look for what's most relevant to the subject property within these three things, features, proximity, and date, and we go from there. So what I like to do is, you know, if this is my property on the map, then what I wanna do is I wanna start from there and I start to branch out, right? Think about a radius. I start to branch out from there in all directions, looking for what are the sold comps that are most similar in features, closest to my property, that have sold the most recent. And those are my ideal comps. Now, I try to find five. If I can find five really good comps that meet this criteria that we talked about, then I can feel pretty good about what my value is. And what I do is I take the average of those five and I say, okay, the average of these five is you know, 200,000 or X price per square foot. My property is 2,000 square feet. Multiply the price per square foot by my square footage. That gives me my value of that property. After repair value, if it's a fix and flip or whatever. So keep in mind, what a lot of people do is they do this mistake. Here's the subject property, right? And they say, ooh, I really like this comp here. Ooh, I really like this comp here. Why? Because it's sold for really high. So I want to use that comp. Even though it may not be similar in features, it may not be close by, it could be you know, a mile or so away, or it could, and it could be old, you know, a year or so old. So that probably is not the most relevant comp because there's going to be other comps that are probably closer, sold sooner, and are uh, sim more similar in features. Okay, so keep that in mind. Make sure you're picking the five most relevant comps when you're analyzing your comps.